historic day for St. Louis. The Missouri Legislature votes to allow first responders in the city to live outside city limits. News 11's Andy Banker live at police headquarters with how the change is supposed to make St. Louis safer. Andy? When it comes to public safety staffing, St. Louis is down across the board. Police, firefighters, and EMS. And Police Chief John Hayden calls the residency rule the number one barrier to filling those jobs. Well, now the state Senate has just followed the lead of the House and passed House Bill 46, which says no police or public safety officers shall be subject to a residency rule. That rule had required them to live in the city for at least seven years. Chief Hayden was at the Capitol yesterday pleading for passage. The St. Louis Police Officers Association reports there are about 1,215 officers currently in the city with a budget for about 1,400, leaving the department about 185 short. An increase in violence against officers, anti-police protests, calls to defund police, along with the COVID-19 pandemic, are all cited as factors in driving those numbers down. But even with all of that, the residency rule is considered to be at the top of the list. This gap in police academy classes, uh, along with, with uh, a higher rate of people leaving, is really going to put us in a tough spot. So we'll, we'll take all the help we can get. It is hard right now to hire police officers, and that's for a number of reasons. But when you're the only department who has a residency requirement and you can't recruit outside of that geography, it puts you at a competitive disadvantage. So this levels the playing field. And I've just spoken with Fire Chief Dennis Jankerson. He says the fire department is down about 15, EMS 24. And that's a big deal because that represents an entire EMS shift. City leaders say this change should not only help fill the jobs, but keep them filled. The governor is expected to sign this into law anytime. Reporting live in downtown St. Louis, Andy Banker, News 11.